thought it was meant to get easier, the fitter I got. The struggle is real, not happening. Final push. I've got exactly 50 miles to go. I think sometimes initially when you start, you're just like, can I, can I not? And then you have a couple of days where you just do a few extra miles, more than you mean to. It can make all the difference. Oh, ah, that's my right ankle. Oh. Anyway, tips for walking bigger miles. You need to start earlier. It's not about going quicker during the day. It's just about being more consistent with it and just walk for longer. Don't take as many rest breaks and pack weight. My pack weight is now a hell of a lot lighter than when I started. It makes walking a lot easier. Offers Dyke Path, what I'm meant to be walking on, is through this, which hasn't been trimmed for God knows how long. And it's just like, not this morning. So made my way down onto the field. Sorry, sheep. Farmers probably like, why is she walking in my field? Because I can't walk, I cannot walk through that. Where I'm not actually getting soaked and ripped to shreds by the ferns and the brambles. Not happening. Not today. the path because I'm going to walk about 10 minutes and there's a little cafe it's sort of semi on the route it's going roughly in the right direction but offers like path is actually on the other side of the canal but this is literally the only place I can see to get food I decided go and have the brunch go have a big breakfast set yourself up for the day go eat all the food so that's what I'm gonna do Well, that's it it's gonna be a tough day today you know words are powerful so I don't even want to say that but it's feeling like that so I need to get in the groove again get some good miles under my belt flagging a little but pushing on through it's just got to get the miles done i just done a google search there's a shop open a little local community shop but it's open till five and it will take me 25 minutes 30 minutes to walk there it's just to pick up a few little snacks i tried eating some of my food i was just like Ugh, 
I didn't want it. It's dark chocolate. I was just like, nope, don't like it. Try to eat more cashew nuts, and I'm like, cashew nutted out. Like, oh my god, can't eat any more of them. Rice cakes, no, thank you. The struggle is real, people. Community oh. shop calf. Here we are, team. Shop and calf. Boom. Oh, it's so cute. Hi. Recharging with an apple and blackcurrant. I bought an ice cream. I think I thought I was on my summer holidays and it was really hot and hot outside. But it's actually quite cold. Sit here for a little bit before I make a move. Have you decided to join me, little pussycat? I don't think you're allowed a fruit pastel. I'm hoping that's a comfy seat for you. As I'm not liking its claws on my Lululemon leggings or my Innovate jacket. So I don't want you scratching them. For a statin is only 29 miles and I've walked 148 from Chepstow. So we're coming down quite a steep descent now. We're going to head towards this tree. Then there's a path going down this way. We're going to get to that fence line and we're going to go straight over there. And then we're basically going to be heading around this stretch here. This is a stunning section of walking. The past couple of miles have just been beautiful. 26 miles, marathon done. let's get up let's get packed up let's get walking 23 miles to go god yeah let's talk, let's start early let's finish early oh that's my plan let's get moving why did the first mile have to be a hill i thought i was gonna get up i was gonna bash out three miles before seven o'clock God, I'd be lucky if I finish one mile before seven o'clock. I thought it's meant to get easier, the fitter I got. Obviously, not as fit as I thought I was, although I did do 29 miles yesterday. So, one step at a time. at Morvama who'd obviously walked up with their blankets and um, quite a few couples <laughs> you know probably headed up to watch the sunrise what a beautiful thing to do on a Wednesday morning to get out do something different is there a gorgeous little mountain gorgeous little hill beautiful little nature walk that you can go on somewhere where you could go and watch the sunrise one morning mix it up change your routine a little bit see what happens see how it improves your mood and your outlook on life by getting outside and spending some time in nature i honestly don't know where the past week has gone like it in some days i feel as though it's gone super slowly and it's been like a real struggle and then other days i feel like i'm just flying along loving every moment so that's where we're heading folks mole arthur 
an area of outstanding natural beauty. All these short, sharp little climbs, they are a killer. But when I start to slow down, I keep saying to myself, home, home, home. It's like you're walking home, Sarah. Oh, it's gonna be a lovely meal for you. Let's keep moving. One twenty-four. I think I said to my parents, come get me at 3.30. Prostatin in the distance. Oh my God, hello water. Mmm. Oh God, that's amazing. miles away from Prostatin which is awesome and I can see my parents haven't left yet because I think I told them to leave at 2.35 so they're going to leave in the next sort of whatever five minutes it's 2.28 now and it'll, it's, a, it's an hour drive from where we live and I can easily do the three and a half miles in an hour so, okay backpack on team <laughs> I've got 1.7 miles to go. It's all downhill as well. So this little stretch of road down here, then we're gonna bang a left and it is straight all the way down until the coast. Apart from crossing over the railway bridge, which is a bit of a flap. Oh. Welcome to Prostatin. Straight down and we're done. 200 meters, final push. Welcome to the start. For the finish of Off His Dyke. There is also a statue. Oh. 178 miles in eight days. <laughs> 